Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, joined by Brett. I'm Adam IC is carrying on checking out some pre MBCC beers. Yes. Uh, more stuff we just got in the mail yesterday from Beer Gym. So, thanks to Sons of Beer Gym for the beers. This is in part of their new release they just launched with a lot of new American stuff, uh, among others, Dick of the Nails. Shout out to Darwin. I think he's on an internship there right now. Darwin's Beer Reviews. I'm not sure if he actually works there. I think he talked about an internship. But this sounds crazy. Hmm. I actually got the entire thing of beers that they had from these guys to review because I'd never heard anything like it. They make pastry IPA. Yeah. Kind of like the Omnipolo I had was a pastry sour. So they make pastry sour IPAs. And today we're checking out two of their releases, Taken the Nails. And we're checking out, uh, I guess it's a series that they do called Frosted Pastry, inspired by Pop-Tarts. And this is the Blueberry Frosted Pastry and Strawberry Frosted pa Pastry. <laughs> and it sounds like, like when you see these cans, when I, I would immediately think, oh, it's a pastry stuff. Yeah. But it's IPAs. Yeah. So it's or maybe uh, sour ales. Like yeah. yeah. Super fruited sour, sour ales. Sour or something. But this is a double IPA with blueberries. This one with strawberries and cinnamon and allspice. And it says on the can that it's, yeah, everyone loves toaster pastries, aka Pop Tarts. Yeah. And here we used a blend of sugar, spices, and real strawberries to create recreate our favorite breakfast treat. Enjoy. 8.6%. Uh, both of that's ABV, and then one, this one says the same, just blueberries. So it's made with the actual berry, which is probably why they're not like super colored. Yeah, I think so. Also, because strawberries don't have a lot of color. And the American blueberries doesn't have a lot of com color either compared to the European bilberry. Yeah, so. the European is really colored, but colored, yeah. I think just because it's not as hazy, we should start with the strawberry. Actually. Yeah. I don't know. We we have some theory that the strawberry one could be a bit more soft or yeah, yeah. and then blueberry but pours. Ooh. But it's quite cold. <laughs> yeah, maybe a bit, a yeah. bit too cold. Never mind. But yeah, pours a lightly hazy golden yellow color. Yeah. It looks like kinda of like a West Coast IPA or something actually. Like yeah, or like a Midwest uh, Yeah. Or like uh, just some of the New England IPAs that are not like super pulpy. Or like a, a vice beer. Yeah. Uh, and a nice white Head on there. You yeah. want to check out the aroma on this? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Because <laughs> you definitely. Whoa, that's the, weird. The IPA aspect, and then this. Whoa, that is so. That is so weird. weird. Yeah. It smells like a pop tart. It actually does. It just smells like frosting and strawberries, but there's almost like mangoey, pineappley, sweet citrus hop yeah. character. And then cinnamon. Yeah. All spice like as well. Spicy. Whoa, that spicy is... thing really fucks, that really fucks me up. It fucks with my mind, like crazy. Like my mind wants to think pie filling pastry style, but yeah. my nose is also getting like juicy New England-esque vibes. Yeah, it's like a combination of that spicy, yeah, cakey thing and then... So fucking weird. Let's try this. Yeah. What? Cheers, thanks to Beardrum for these. What the, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? <laughs> it tastes... Wow, that is fucking weird. That is so weird. I get a licorice thing. Do you get that? I, I get a bit of maple, actually. Yeah, uh, yeah, I actually see that too. I'm getting a bit of like a fruity licorice thing and, and then maple. It's and like then... vanilla frosting? Yeah. It's like the licorice thing, I think that's vanilla bean. Mm. Because like the rind of or like the actual bean yeah, itself yeah. has like an almost like licorice thing. It does. You're absolutely right. Whoa, this is having me super perplexed. Medium yeah. mouthfeel, dry, kind of dry as like a West Coaster or something like that. Yeah. And then it has like a mango and sweet citrus kind of hop character to it as well. Yeah. But a bit it's perfumey. Yeah, but it's yeah perfumey and floral. Mm. It's very much like you did like what what it says a pastry IPA. It tastes yeah. like an IPA. With strawberry, allspice, maple syrup esque, and vanilla flavors and frosting. Well, now we know what to expect yeah. this one. So, this one looks much more hazy. Yeah. I mean, this looks definitely like New England IPA, yeah. just like a really dark malty one. Mm. But I think, I guess the blueberries maybe gave some of the color. Yeah, because it, it's bit. probably the same base. I'd so imagine, because it's, it's probably cool. just that yeah, pulpy kind of thing. That yeah. Is. Maybe it's puree. A nicer head on this one as well. Yeah. So maybe this is a fresher batch. You know, there's like no, there's not. It's just. It, it's not yeah. really. You can't really decipher what the hell it says. It's no. like a code. I think it's like Julian dating or something. This one doesn't have anything. 
Let's check out the aroma. Yeah. This is a bit more yeah. uh, kind of like milkshake IPA like. Yeah, it doesn't have as much of that spicy. It has uh, a little bit of allspice. Yeah, uh, but not as much no. as the other one. Uh, but the blueberry, you know, yeah. it's like it's this soft natural blueberry, almost like blueberry jammy kind of thing. Yeah, it reminds yeah. me a bit of the yeah, mosaic. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. much more like it's not as weird. No. It smells more like an IPA with a little bit of a spice yeah. thing going on. It, 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 it could, you could actually fool me. It, you know, to say if, that you've just put some maybe uh, European hops in it. Yeah, or something like that. That gives off that spicy, or give off that spicy vibe. Yeah. That's a good amount of that blueberry. It's, it has some bubblegum notes too. Yeah, yeah. Like juicy for bubblegum. Yeah, I've seen that. Hmm. Let's try it. Blueberry frosted pastry. <laughs> Oh, that's much better. Yeah, it's the similar thing, but this is just. It, I think this is. It's much more uh, much, rounded, much better put together. A much better mouthfeel. It's yeah. not as fizzy, and the blueberry flavor is there. This is also. It's not like tropical fruit, but there's like a soft undertone of like New Englandy hoppy notes. Mm. Like it has. And it's a bit more creamy, I think. It's definitely more creamy and fluffy. Yeah. yeah. And I think the lightly spicy, all spicy vibe it, yeah. is, is, all spice is more complimenting, whereas with this one, it's, it's just is, crazy. It's too much there, yeah. maybe. It really strawberry, strawberry like on the aroma, the, the strawberry one. Yeah. Oh, but I will say it's still a bit odd. Mm -hmm. It's it's not it's not as crazy as this it's one. It's what I think of odd. when I think of these milkshake IPAs, pretty much. Yeah. But I just think the milkshake IPAs are a bit more beery in some way. Or not beery, but more IPA. -y. Yeah, yeah. Like it's definitely pastry. Like it's it's this other one maybe embodies a pop tart more, where this is like a New England IPA with a pop tart esque flavor. Yeah, you can see what I mean. But damn, I, I can't get past that. Spicy, licorice, maple thing with this one. I really think like it's an on of vanilla. At, yeah, maybe it is. It's just. It's it's just I don't think there's maple in this, but there is some oh. the other ones we'll be trying. Yeah. Which will be interesting. There's a pecan pie IPA and a French toast IPA. Yeah, and then the mango one. And there's a ma yeah, mango or something. I, I would give the blueberry a, an 88. I actually think this is rather enjoyable. Mm. Uh, it's kind of like a milkshake IPA to me. And I would say the strawberry would be like an 83, maybe something like that. Yeah. I was thinking. five maybe. I was, I was actually thinking 82 on this one. And then, yeah, I agree with you on this one, 88. Yeah. I mean, they're worth a shot for sure because they're. <laughs> I just check them out just because they're so different. <laughs> Share them with a couple of friends yeah. and just get mind fucked. <laughs> yeah, you, you, like the first thing I was like, what the yeah. fuck is this? Yeah. Well, that, I guess that's what they try to do. Mm. Pastry IPA. Well, it's been done. So mm. yeah, this was fun. This was fun. If you guys had a chance to try the Decadent Nails, a blueberry frosted pastry, a strawberry frosted pastry, let us know what you thought of them. Uh, stay tuned for, yeah, with three more beers on them to check out. Probably cracking two of them after this, we'll see. <laughs> uh, get some pastry IPA going. Yeah. But if you had any guys, let us know what we thought of them. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And shout out to Darwin, because I think he interns there maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, he'll start working. That'd be great, friend. Before we leave, let's take one sip of each and mix it in the mouth to kind of do a coup. Okay. Ah, yeah, no, they're yeah. <laughs> That doesn't really work. No, nope. but um, but hey, we tried. Fun it. anyway. Yeah. So cheers, guys. Yeah. See you in a little bit.